Today we are going to be planting some hard red winter wheat. We're going to be using the BioLive starter and transplant mix. Nice gentle fertilizer. And I'm going to be mixing in some of this hummus and manure in my normal garden soil as I, as I just amend it really quick. So what I'm doing this year is I'm going to plant some hard red winter wheat, but I cannot plant it outside because I've yet to set up the rows for the garden. And all I have is a little tiny packet. So I'm going to plant them in this planter here. So I'm going to mix in the combination. I'm going to throw in some regular soil. And then you'll see the dark manure come right there coming in. And just kind of mix it all together so it gives a lot more food to the soil that it's going to go in. And I will be adding the BioLive as well. Um, and kind of just mix everything together. Well, the BioLive goes in at the end so that when the snow comes, it'll pour down on it. So the hard red winter wheat has to be planted in the fall, late fall. Um, and then it sits in the ground, kind of like garlic and a few other items that get put in first. So I don't have the rows. I'm just going to do the planter. So it's going to go in the soil now. So you only have a tiny little packet. And then it'll just come up in the, sp in the spring. I do not have enough seeds to sustain us. This one little packet is not going to feed us. In fact, it won't, probably won't even be enough to offer us enough seeds for next year, but it'll kind of get us started a little bit. I'm probably going to be ordering some other seeds as well, like some of the spring seeds that you can do for wheat. That way we have some wheat going in the ground as well, but these will just kind of get us going a little bit so that maybe in a couple years this will go or I'll just end up buying some different wheats for next year, but it's just something to kind of keep us, kind of keep us on, or get us started. That's what I mean to say. So then I just sprinkle it on the top right there. And I'm going to add some more soil on top of that. Because I want it to max up all the way to the top of the bag. Because all the snow and everything like that is going to kind of sink it down anyways. So it's nice and fluffy right now. It's going to sink on down. So I'm going to add some soil. And then I'm going to add some of the BioLive on top of that which is going to end up pretty far down the soil anyways by the time the seeds actually come up, but it'll be right there and ready for the seeds when they start to sprout. So it'll be at a good level. Plus there's a lot of just nutrients from that uh, compost in there as well. And yeah, sorry, this is going to be a short video this week. Um, I've had a lot going on, so... I didn't think this part of the video was as long as it is. I'm sorry. Anyways, so once I get this all finished, filled up, and everything like that, I will go ahead and stick it outside for the winter and let it do its thing. That way it gets hardened off the way it's supposed to. It goes into a dormant phase. It's currently in a nice warm house, so it'll it'll be more, or I'll have it set in a colder area, and then I'll move it to the cold, cold. That way it simulates going from, you know, a more dry, or no, warm, warmer. God, my mouth just isn't working well. A warm, warmer climate to to or like summer to fall to winter because it's already cold outside. So I'm just gonna be put this on pretty heavy because this stuff is not. It's really good, but you don't need to be sparing with it. It's not gonna burn anything. These are meant for small plantlings and everything. My dog's Christmas toy. <laughs> Got that from Denko's mom. And then just cover over to more and just keep filling it all the way to the top. But yeah, don't, don't have to be too sparing with that stuff. It comes in a big box for a fairly decent price. So and then after that, we just put it in the cold a little bit and then we will get it outside. And then in the summer, it'll come up on its own, or spring, whenever our, one of our springs starts, it'll pop up on its own, and we will be good to go. And then I will have seeds for next fall. All right. <laughs> 
Don't forget, if you're liking these videos, to like, share, and subscribe. And also, you can ring the bell for notifications and let you know right when a new video launches. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you can subscribe right here. And I also, if you want to see all the videos that you have missed so far, you can click right here. There's me. You can click right here and it'll send you to the, my videos in order playlist. You can watch them all as I drop them. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.